From the Heart, our morning daily devotional. The reading for today is entitled, God's Blessings and Our Responsibilities, February 17th. Rejoice, ye pure in heart. Rejoice, give thanks and sing. Your festal banner wave on high. The cross of Christ your King. Rejoice, 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 give thanks. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But he said, Wherein shall we return? Malachi 3, verse 7. Satan constantly presents the sins and wrongs of those who claim to be the children of God, and he taunts the angels of God with their defects. What will bring the Lord's people into a right position before him? The Lord answers the question in Malachi, saying, Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. When we seek the Lord with full purpose of heart, he will be found of us. Daniel purposed in his heart that he would be true to the God of heaven. He determined that he would not eat of the king's meat or drink of his wine and his three companions determined that they would not dishonor God by bowing down before the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar set up in the plain of Dura. When we purpose to serve the Lord with a determination like that of these faithful servants of God, the Lord will take our part and enable us to lay hold of his strength. Angels look with amazement upon the ingratitude of those for whom God has done so much in continually bestowing his favors and gifts. People forget the claims of God and indulge in selfishness and worldliness. God cannot bless us in lands and flocks when we do not use his blessings for his glory. He cannot trust his treasure to those who misapply it. In the simplest language, the Lord has told his children what he requires of them. They are to pay tithes of all they possess and to make offerings of that which he bestows upon them. His mercies and blessings have been abundant and systematic. He sends down his rain and sunshine and causes vegetation to flourish. He gives the seasons, sowing and reaping time come in their order, and the unfailing goodness of God calls for something better than the ingratitude and forgetfulness that many render to Him. Shall we not return to God and with grateful hearts present our tithes and offerings? The Lord has made duty so plain that if we neglect to fulfill his requirements, we shall be without excuse. The Lord has left his goods in the hands of his servants to be handled with equity, that the gospel may be preached in all the world. The arrangement and provision for the spread of his truth in the world has not been left to chance. Thank you for listening. Shalom.